You can listen everywhere to the Philip Malone Loney podcast. So, so, yeah, that perception can be a dangerous thing, which is why you have to kind of nut it down to um, facts. Yeah, you know? you've you've got to nut it down to facts. Now, I'll I'll lay my cards on the table in regards to um, where I think the problem is. Mm. It's too difficult to fire people. It's too difficult to sack the wrong ones. You know, if you get a, if you, if you lodge a complaint with the police complaints commission, you get banded around for years Uh and years and years, and then you get tired and you go away. Yeah. Right. So there's one problem. There's one problem is auditing the IPOC. You know, I think that should be done for black people straight away to look at the complaints and look at how the complaints have been resolved. And I think there should be an inquest in that. And I think there'll be a lot of value in there. I think you should look at how black people are treated in the family courts. I think the amount of fatherless homes within the black community is a massive problem and an encouraged problem. There's not a black man alive who could stand in the family courts and say, I didn't do the things that are being said about me and be believed and be trusted and have and have a, a, a really rational investigation into that. Mm. It just doesn't happen. Because do you know why? If you look at the way the system is run, they're comfortable with it. Nobody likes change. Nobody yeah, wants to change it's, it's, what they've been doing because this is how we do it. And we've seen it like this before. And we had another case where it was like this, so we can't deal with this case like that, and so on and so forth. Comfort, comfort is a dangerous thing, and I think oh, that's absolutely. Why, you know, when this whole this whole thing started, because again, like if I just go back to my own school, one of those things I was saying to everyone was like, like if, if this is what we're doing, because there's been a lot of wrestling, there's been a lot of emotion, there's things that I didn't agree with. There were there were teachers who I felt probably should have been less emotional considering you're dealing with young people you know we're all doing it there's a lot to consider here don't project your own stuff onto other kids that kind of thing i was like we're doing this we're doing this properly we're going to go the whole way and like i said earlier i'm going to be that person to remind you of this situation come next year um because it has to be worth it we have to go through this pain and and the phrase like we have to be comfortable to be uncomfortable people kind of took that as like oh we're going to talk about some you know some things talk about race yeah that that's a part of it but actually it means no we're going to get uncomfortable because we've all lapsed in our ways and we're all guilty of it we've all mm. seen how you know we don't want to ask that question because you don't want to rattle xyz but the spotlight hasn't been on the right stuff so mm. all the things that you just spoke about with the courts that's where that's what i'm saying about wins in terms of black lives matter start I mean, it'd be easy i'd do it like if i had the platform of black lives matter I yeah. would not be talking about the things that you want me to talk about. I'm going to I say I want a judicial question. review on the IPOC <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. To yeah. start yeah. tomorrow. And, yeah. and and if it takes three years, it takes three years. But I want every single complaint that's gone through yeah. to be looked at and to be yeah. verified. A, a win for me isn't a hashtag by the Premier League. That again, it looks no. great at first. It looks no. like you've got great problems, but that isn't asking the right questions. No, genuine and, action. You know, talking about the stuff that you said, Martin, earlier, like, you know, the signs, for example, no blacks, no Irish, no dogs, that kind of thing. Um, you know, if you were to go back, if someone would have the opportunity to go into that same house that had that sign, would you pick the sign coming down and the person having to let you in? Or would you pick the person thinking about why they put the sign up there in the first place and I'm picking their own thinking which is a bit more long term yeah. and these are the things that I would say there's a version of that that you want from Black Lives Matter you want it to it's not just about raising awareness it's it's getting people to think police and that stop I, I mean I've got some crazy police stops that are very similar to that where it's like there is no way you thought I was guilty you're lying but anyway I'll go with the flow like I don't want them to not do that just so mm. my life's easier. I want them to ask themselves why they thought that. Where did it come from? Ask yourself these questions. That's where all the and we're all human beings, we're all intelligent humans yeah. on this planet. Yeah. It's not hard to do. 
you know. Yeah. And, and, Look, and I mean, sorry, sorry, Martin. Yeah. Drug deals do go down yeah. outside shops. Yeah. You know, that yeah. does happen. Mm. You know, that's that's a common place, you know, like a little sort of meeting here and all the rest of it, you know. So that perception is understood. But why do the police feel so confident that they can do that? Which I have a degree of sympathy around it. I can understand it. But then there's a sort of a, then there's a this is our God given right to come and put these handcuffs on you and put you in this kind of stress. And that's our God given right because we don't have to approach this in any other way. Exactly. 